Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds, and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'm looking at the NZXT Beta Evo case. I'm showing you this case box on the floor and not on the clean white cloth that I normally shoot on because the box is just so dirty. I really don't know if these courier companies ever clean their trucks out, but apparently not. This thing is filthy. It's also damaged here. A huge smack here on the corner of the box. Again, no reflection on the company who's sending this product, but certainly a big reflection on the courier company. Now the box itself looks very budget, and the case is budget, so it's fitting. There's no pictures of the case on the box, but there's lots of features and specifications. Remember, when opening up any box, not to cut too deep, because you could damage the product inside of the box. Your typical case packaging material, foam on either side, and the case itself is in a plastic bag. Now let me remove the bag so you can have a closer look at the case. At the top, a couple of optional fans can be installed. Here's the audio ports, two USB 2 ports, an external serial ATA port. There are four 5 and a quarter inch drive bays. Here's the reset button, power button, and lots of ventilation. A couple of more fans can be installed on the left side panel. And at the back is where the motherboard's IO shield plate gets installed. An optional fan can be installed here. Seven ventilated expansion slots. And at the bottom is where a standard ATX power supply gets installed. And they include two thumb screws, but only on the left side panel. Note that the inside of this case is all black. You can see here a user's manual and the box. Let's open it up and see what's inside of it. Looks like lots of drive rails, cable ties, motherboard standoffs, screws. I'll have much more on this product in an upcoming video review. 